Let's go back now live. The procession is making its way through um, the heart of Maryville, the heart of the Blount County area, saying their final goodbyes as people line the streets. So we just saw that sea of, of motorcycles go by. Now we see uh, more law enforcement vehicles leading that procession. The hearse is not too far back there. Not a sound is being made. No one is moving. Um, it, it, Maribel, Blount County at a standstill right now. I don't know if you can see a canine officer right there on the right side of your screen. Here's another vantage point for you uh, as we continue uh, to monitor the procession for fallen deputy Greg McCowan. That procession making its way through the Blount County area. Um, as the community says goodbye to this officer that so many people loved. You, you heard those uh, accounts and remarks there at the service. Uh, he was well respected uh, and, and definitely well loved. And this will be their goodbye. And now you see uh, with Maryville College in the background, mm -hmm. like we were mentioning, the hearse is coming by. We'll continue our silence here. As we continue to watch this procession as it makes its way through the heart of Blount County, uh, they're in Maryville right now, making their way to Grandview Cemetery. It's interesting, you can continue to hear that helicopter. Um, all forms of um, 
law enforcement there, whether patrol vehicles, motorcycle officers, uh, patrol officers, you see those helicopters, K-9 unit off to the side there to the right on your screen, paying their respects to fallen Deputy Greg McCowan. People are holding flags, but really all you can hear is that helicopter and just the slight whirring, the whooshing, mm -hmm. you know, as the, as the cars go by, but that's it. And this is a long procession. Um, and we are still watching cars make their way on Alcoa Highway. Um, Mile, miles away, they're, they're still coming in. They still will be filing in throughout this area. There's another vantage point. We see Maryville College in the background there. The procession slowly making its way mm -hmm. to Grandview Cemetery, and that is where our Don Dare is standing by. Don. Well, Lori, we see right now, we see the police escort uh, bringing the body of Deputy McCowan. You see the motorcycles coming in. This, of course, will take a while. Um, there are dozens of people around the perimeter of Grandview Cemetery. This is a large public cemetery. We're approximately a mile, mile and a half from the Blunt County Sheriff's Department. There you see more of the motorcycle officers. In a moment, we'll be seeing the hearse. The mood here is, of course, silent, just as you have been talking about. The only thing we can hear is the wind and just a nice, gentle breeze. And now we hear a helicopter that you've been talking about. Um, comes more deputies in front of us. They're proceeding down Tuckalichi Pike, which is the front of Grandview Cemetery. <laughs> Motorcycle officers from all over the state are on these motorcycles. Here comes the procession right now. They've got to go down all the way down to the far end of the cemetery, which is a good quarter of a mile, half a mile. And then they will loop around, and we believe it will be, well, it doesn't look like it. They're going to go in the far end of the cemetery. Let me just tell you a little bit about what's going to happen here. Um, Deputy McCowan will be given a full police burial cemetery ceremony, much like a fallen members of the military receive. This police funeral will be a chance to come together in unity, as we have heard throughout the day. It will be a chance to celebrate Deputy McCowan's service and his dedication to his community. The service itself will be private, out of respect for the family. We will not be showing you that. But let me just give you about a little bit of the order of service that will likely happen based on the family's wishes. The service will likely follow this order. It will begin with an invocation, an introduction that serves as a statement of why everyone is gathered here in honor of Deputy McCowan. The person who leads the statement will present a prayer. The prayer will, often, will likely focus on the life of Officer McCowan. As we continue to watch the procession proceed down Tuckalichi Pike. The third step of the service is sometimes combined with the first, and several of us have been to these services before. They're very somber and they're very emotional. The person who leads the ceremony will introduce himself and 
greet of audience, of course. Music will follow this service. Songs will be played by the Knoxville Pipes and Drums group, as well as the Shelby County Pipes and Drums. They've come from Memphis to be here. One of the tunes that they will present is Amazing Grace, a very popular choice, and there will be a medley from what they call the Rowan Tree. Deputy McCowan's fiance will be at the grave site. Leah Lane, his two daughters, Callie and Caden, and of course, his baby granddaughter, baby Ella. His dad, Dallas, will be there, and his mother, Elizabeth. You can hear the helicopter, I believe, above me. Total silence. The people lining Tuckalichi Pike, waving American flags, waving those flags that are blue flags in honor of police officers. And I believe you can see in the far distance the blue tent, and that's where the private service will take place. The eulogy will likely be delivered by either a member of the family or the police chief. The music will be followed by prayers. And then there will be the tradition of the 21-gun salute, the bagpipes, and then probably the most poignant part of this service will be what's called the end of watch or the last radio call. It's a poignant ending to an officer's career. And what will happen is that the dispatcher back at the Blunt County Sheriff's Office will put out a call for Officer McCowan. The dispatcher will then wait a moment. Then the dispatcher will put out a second call. When the officer doesn't respond, the dispatcher will announce that there has not been a response. And that's the end of the watch. It's kind of tough for us to see, but you can see the cars going around. And that service, that private service, will begin soon. You can see all of the Motorcycle officers lined up in honor of their fallen comrade. <laughs> Greg loved motorcycles. And here he is with the Motorcycle Corps honoring him. Something that perhaps was said earlier about his service is that Deputy McCowan was awarded a life-saving commendation medal back in 2021 for his part in saving the life of a man who was trapped in a burning vehicle. That male driver was stuck in a, he had struck a house with his vehicle and disoriented Greg and another man pulled him out. Greg had just finished emergency medical responder school and he accepted the, he was accepted on the sheriff's crisis negotiations team. And Sheriff Barong has said that he was excited to put the negotiation certificate to use. Greg McCowan will be laid to rest today. here at Grandview Cemetery. Surrounded by his friends, by his family, by his police family from all over this state. 
What a remarkable scene. Unfortunately, we have seen this so many times. It's never easy, never easy. The end of call will probably be in about 10 minutes. Gloria and Tirsa, back to you.